So are there techniques or methods that we can leverage at work in order to increase our popularity and attractiveness, which you talk about a lot in your book, and that would also then lead to more success, which everybody wants? And can you share a case study yeah. of this happening? Yeah, because they're, they're so important, these factors, likability and attractiveness. I'm looking at, well, what makes us attractive? Because there's lots of research out there, and what, what makes us likable? Um, again, you know, decades of research. Now, attractiveness is quite interesting as a German um, researcher who worked on this for years, and, and he hasn't published his research. Unbelievable findings, and he refuted the old hypothesis that averageness is beautiful. That's not true, for instance. Um, you know, that was what, what, uh, what, what psychology thought, or what the, the, the major um, publication when you read it. But it's just wrong, because, of course, I mean, look at Angelina Jolie, huge lips, or George Clooney, huge kin, and yet rated as very attractive. So, uh, but every culture is different too. So yeah, that yeah, comes kind into of. play as well. Kind of where you work. Yes, but not necessarily. There are some, you know, some. Yeah, well, uh, Greeks tend to like a more a stronger physiques in men. Uh, so, some things like that. Uh, Taiwanese tend to like thinner men. There, there are some cultural differences, but overall, beauty is rated quite universally. And uh, what, what the interesting thing is that there are some things you can do to increase your attractiveness very easily because he found the factors that really make us attractive. And you know, I give all his, his research, in the, I just, in, in a few pages, I just list the, 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 the things he found. And one important thing is, for instance, the nose isn't that important. So people waste thousands on their noses, yeah. even though <laughs> <The> nose <is laughs> a nose is really only important when it's really big, like really unattractive. Mm -hmm. Then it can make a crucial difference, but you know, you don't see any actor waiting, wow, what a, what a nose uh, he has. It's the chin for men, for instance. The chin is so important uh, for guys. And there's some factors that you don't have to have any surgery, you can just easily change. For instance, um, because I'm sure you're gonna ask me well, what? Uh, tan skin, for instance, um, and uh, pure skin, and darker eyebrows and eyelashes for men and women make a huge difference. Uh, and that, of course, you know, you can change that within half an hour. Um, so it's Im more important than the nose. And just some of these findings, I, you know, what about the body? What is it about the body? You don't have to lose weight. There are other things you can do. So uh, I think this is highly interesting because it's unbelievable and it's, you know, frightening almost how, how much attractiveness rates, you know, how if people who are attractive are rated better on, on all other levels. That even parents love kids more, their kids more when they're attractive. Um, that even in, in uh, same-sex friendships, heterosexual friendships, uh, you tend to like people more when they're attractive. And so it's I incredible, incredible, really frightening. But the two things that people are drawn to say you're going to see a hiring manager, isn't it more like the, the angle of your chin, as you say, are the eyes, are those the things that they see, notice first, and then from yeah. there? I have a whole will, ranking. As you say, the, the nose is <laughs> invisible. I have so an exact ranking they can find of, that in of your what, book, what is, the... because I don't even remember everything. Yeah. I kind of looked it up and I thought, what can I change easily? And I said, oh, okay, this, this, this. I'm not going to tell you now, you know, but uh, it's mm. kind of my secret. Got to read the book. Yeah, yeah, Gotta you know, but what I change yeah. it by myself. But yeah. uh, oh, of so course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it's kind of a, it's just a list. You look at the list and you know, think, well, what can I change? You know, what works for me, what doesn't? Mm. But it's really good. And every, every surgeon, uh, plastic subtle, surgeon, should yeah. have a look at that because some, they, you know, they do terrible things that, that don't make sense, actually, mm. because that's, you know, not, not how, we, how we perceive other people. Well, and the second point is how to be more likable. And again, there's lots of research out there, but uh, we're very good at that. You know, common sense tells us, you know, be polite when you meet somebody, take a shower before you meet them, uh, be nice, uh, whatever. You know, these things are all right. But it's just some things I found from the research that people don't. For instance, if you make a compliment, very helpful, be very specific. Don't say good job because it's empty talk. Mm -hmm. But say, you know, I really liked how you, you know, in the meeting you, uh, used the uh, had some great slides without the usual clutter and you know was concise to the point. Thank you very much. So that kind of uh, of compliment really works. Mm -hmm. Flattery can get you anywhere if you do it the right way. 